Kwara State Polytechnic Iloin is the premier institution in Kwara State and one of the oldest in the North Central Nigeria. The institution started its part-time program in 1990 during the administration of Dr. A. A. Ali and had Professor F. T. Otunola as the pioneer director of the Center for Continuing Education, CCE. The CCE has since inception produced 10 directors. They are Professor F. T. Otunola, late Dr. F. B. Bolaji, Chief J. O. Ogunshola, Al-Aji Olainka Ibrahim, Dr. F. A. J. Bello, Mrs. O. O. Ajibade, Engineer A. A. Amino, Dr. Mrs. H. N. Adams, Mr. Moshud A. Razak, and the present director, Dr. Kola Babata. The Polytechnic commends the program having fulfilled all the requirements of the National Board for Technical Education, NBTE, on part-time studies. At present, the CCE is offering about 25 courses which cut across the five institutes in the institution. Institute of Information and Communication Technology, Institute of Environmental Studies, Institute of Finance and Management, Institute of Technology, and Institute of Applied Sciences. The Deputy Rector of Academics, Mr. Isaac Abdurrahman, told Kwara Poly TV the recent effort of the school management to introduce additional courses. The Polytechnic is making a lot of efforts to ensure that we increase the number of courses our students take. We are aware of the fact that we are limited to a particular number of intakes for jump direct entry. And uh, in order to give opportunities for students to be able to come in and then to, to probably increase the scope of knowledge, we are making efforts to add more courses so that number students will come in in large population and we shall be able to train at the part-time part level. The Center for Continuing Education, CCE, had in the past experienced some challenges ranging from inadequate funding and low patronage of the part-time program by the publics. The director of the center, Dr. Kola Babata, shared his experience with Kwara Poly TV on the position of the CCE when he assumed office on the 15th of March 2021. Uh, honestly speaking, the center, the situation of the center was uh, terrible then. There was no light, there was no the building, toilet was not working, the toilet facilities were not working, no generator, nothing, no student. No, the center was about, uh, it was at a uh, uh, point of uh, collapsing before we came in. The winds of change of the rector, Kwara State Polytechnic, Dr. Jimo Abdul led administration, has continued to blow on the center in the last one and a half year when the think tank director, Dr. Kola Babata, assumed office. The part time center was completely renovated, giving it a new look, thereby packaging the CCE as a brand to attract prospective customers. Honestly, we have the cost to thank our God, especially the effort of the management, uh, ably led by the director the, that have changed the situations. He assisted us a lot. Now we have many students. Now you can see the office is befitting. Our staff are happy now. Everybody is happy. And not only that, when we came in, uh, the school are holding almost uh, four or five semesters uh, on Auraria that have not been paid. Not until when we came in, the rector called me and we sat down together and we worked out the possibility. We paid all the uh, uh, all the debt and uh, we are paying promptly all the honorarium every semester now. We are not holding anybody. The deputy Mr. Femi Oderinde spoke to us more on the proactive measure of Dr. Jimo Abdul led administration that revived the part time center. The state of the center was in an appalling state when we first came, but with the cooperation of our rector, the effort of the rector and the management, the, 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 there has been a kind of uplift, upliftment of the center. And uh, the center is wearing a new look. Virtually everything has been upgraded here to the glory of God. And uh, we are actually appreciate our amiable rector, engineer Dr. Abdul Mohammed. 
the chief executive officer cce mr agbola gambari said the present director dr kola babata has been up to the task uh, i think it's a bit better than before this present uh, director he has been a pragmatic uh, director since he came there has been so many innovations uh, in the center and uh, he has raised the morale of uh, the staff here. So uh, all I will say is you should keep doing uh, the needful like he has been doing it before. The longest serving coordinator from the Department of Business Administration and Management, Mr. Ibrahim Alakoso, shared his experience over the years he had been coordinating the part-time program in the department. In fact, like uh, last semester, that second semester that uh, we did last, it has never happened in the history of Kora Police. It's my inception as the coordinator for the past 10 years. We have never experienced where uh, cost lecture will be paid in advance. Even we have not received the, the score sheet from the lecturer and the honorary, the honorary has been paid. Some of the lecturers are surprised that, uh, is it a dream? We are still marking and the honorarium is available. As I speak to you, we have already submitted the third semester honorarium. And you know, we are starting the exam today. And I want to believe before the end of the exam, and I believe with the current conjecture of the, the management, particularly the director of the Polytechnic, we will likely have the third semester before the completion of the I can I'm not sure of that. The Deputy Rector Administration, Dr. Isaac Adedoin told Quara Poly TV that this administration will leave no stone unturned, especially the human resources who are the driving force of any economy. Again, when we came on board, we invited the director to see what we interacted with him. What do you think we can do to bring back the glory of CC? Because it's like the glory of CC was already down and we felt something has to be done. So we invited him, we had a series of meetings with him. And one of the things that he talked about was the non-payments of overdue, uh, uh, what's it called, allowances of lecturers. So, and we felt, well, what can we do? So as part of management, the, we met and we felt that even from whatever we are able to generate, we should give payment of this uh, honorarium topmost priority. And thank God for the listening lecture that we have. We gave him so that advice and he quickly embraced it. Uh, when this administration came on board, we have our cardinal programs. And one of our cardinal programs is to ensure that the welfare of staff are given topmost priority. And uh, so on the basis of this, uh, we felt that since most lecturers participate in uh, uh, part-time teaching and some other part-time engagements, we felt that we, we can boost their morale through that particular unit. And that's why we ensure, with the help of God on our side, and God on our side, to see that all the emoluments, all their entitlements and their rights are given to, to them. Two part-time students from the Department of Mass Communication, one is a national diploma and the one, Oguntayo Olayinka, and the other a higher national diploma, HND1, Adibayo Oyeni. Both said that the reduction of the program to two years was a right step in the right direction by the school authority, which they believed will attract more applicants. Um, my own observation is we have more students applying for the part-time program mainly because before we all know part-time program is for the working class and also this three years program but ever since uh, the last session I think the school management have made a good improvement by turning the part-time program for three years to two years now so it will help me it will encourage many people to apply for the program in as much the program the part-time program and the full-time program is also two years. To me, it's a really good development because it gives the opportunity 
as a working class i'm also working i'm also studying to finish with you few period of time and see have time for other things and for me people will be able to come and work and still go to school and finish on time it's a very very good really development sir director Kora state polytechnic dr jimo abdul who has taken the bull by the horn to revive the cce told Kora poly tv that his administration will continue to explore the opportunity abound at the center for continued education center for continued education as you know is a unit that uh, runs part-time program for the Polytechnic and for every accredited program the CC is uh, empowered to admit 150% of the number in the full stream so that means it's a good uh, source of revenue for the school and if you are realizing uh, good revenue from a place there's need for you to uh, encourage those that are there both the lecturers and the non-teaching staff so that's why we embarked on uh, renovation of the CCE center to give it a befitting look then uh, secondly a lot of uh, students are desirous of admission and um, it's better to keep the students in the classroom rather than to keep them on the street director thanked the institutional governing council members under the chairmanship of honorable yaya hamed unisa for their support within the few months of the new council dr abdul also commended governor abdurrahman hadurazak who has provided a good enabling working environment for the school management to initiate and implement good policies for the polytechnic. In line with this development and achievement, the Center for Continued Education consider it very crucial and timely to organize her maiden edition of a public lecture with the title Perspective Challenges and Prospects of Part-Time Studies in Nigerian Tertiary Institution and as well to give a word of excellence in honor of former directors of the CCE and present principal officers of the Polytechnic a gesture to show gratitude saying thank you we appreciate your contribution to the center and service to humanity the guest speaker from the department of accounting and finance Kwara state university maliti professor mubarak sani who delivered the maiden lecture said the part-time program had enabled both public and private institutions in the world to improve their standard of education and skills development. Professor Sani noted that the part-time program played a crucial role of making education accessible to all classes and segments of the Nigerian society irrespective of age, gender and social affiliation.
the guest speaker observed that the program was an area needed to be explored by various institutions of higher learning, especially in recent time as it had served as a good source of revenue generation for institutional development as well as an opportunity to engage the lecturers more. The professor who identified the part-time program as an access route for marginalized group in the society noted that the flexible program had governized women participation in higher institution. He quoted a research work which showed that females are well represented in the part-time program. According to him, despite the increase of the program in most institutions in Nigeria, as a result of its flexibility and accessibility, the part-time program was still experiencing some challenges over the years. The guest speaker called on stakeholders in the sector to develop mechanisms in order to identify from time to time areas of challenges regarding the implementation of the part-time in line with the regulatory guidelines. Earlier, in his welcoming address, the director of the center, Dr. Kola Babata, said the maiden lecture of the center became very important to sensitize the general public of the importance of the part-time program, not only to the working class, but the youth who could also utilize the free hours during the week to engage in personal skill acquisition programs to meet up with the economic challenges. The director expressed his gratitude to all that made it possible for the center to record these successes. I would like to thank the Almighty Allah and the money that they for the approval to organize this program and for providing the necessary support. I would also, I would also like to place on record the standing contributions of the management of the Polytechnic. Dr. Babata specifically mentioned the area of intervention of the school to the center. Contributions in the area of infrastructural in of the center, introduction of two years of six semesters program, as a based old method of three years of six years six semesters to mention both At this junction, we are Last year, 2020, 
director said, the award of excellence to the awardees is a deserving one. He therefore appreciated his team members, the deputy director of the center, all staff of the CCE and coordinators at various departments in the Polytechnic. Director of the institution, Dr. Jimo Abdul, commended the director for such initiative. Mm -hmm. Responding on the e-learning program raised by the guest speaker, Director Dr. Jimo Abdul informed the gathering that the Polytechnic had been given approval to start the online distance flexible e-learning would fair. <laughs> It was a moment of reflection for the awardees as they were overwhelmed with joy and never expected such coming after a long period of time. It was the recognition of the sterling contribution to the growth of the Polytechnic that he was appointed Deputy Director and Acting Director of the Polytechnic in 2007. Time of being a skillful administrator to commercialize a community scholar. He has authored and co-authored a number of academic publications in a wide
graduate staff and students of Paris State Polytechnic. I respect this award. Recounting on the silent support which the Department of the General Studies has been showing to her, the wife of one of the awardees from the CCE, late Dr. E.B. Bolaji, Mrs. Bolaji reflected deeply, glorifying God for everything. The present principal officers of the Polytechnic, who are the formidable team of Dr. Jimo Abdul government, receive their award of excellence with joy.
Chief J.O. Ogunshola, who was also a former rector of the school, was really celebrated by its native people. The, 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 the people in administration, they are superb. I, all, I wish them success. They will, they, will, they will be successful in Jesus' name. One of the awardees, Mrs. Ajibade, said she came in as a core member who was not from this area, but the Polytechnic gave her an opportunity to rise through the ranks and retired as a deputy rector. I didn't know anybody. I was just 23 years old at that time. And then they gave me a job. And I have risen to become the number two. I have risen from director to director and later I became the deputy rector. That's the number two position in this school. This is why I say young people should try to work out. There's a level playing field for everybody. The Quara State Commissioner for Tertiary Education, Dr. Afiz Abolore, commended the Quara State Governor, Malam Abdurrahman Abdurazak, for giving the Polytechnic all the needed support. <laughs> The council chairman of the school, Honorable Yahya Ahmed Yunisa, commended the school management. Our, if you see, if you notice what happens here today, with the various comments from the various awardees and special invitees, we can see that uh, the Kuala State Polytechnic is well on ground with a lot of achievement. The director of the center, Dr. Kola Babata, said he was indeed a happy man as the center has given him an opportunity to put smile on the faces of all stakeholders of the CCE. Nice open day, open day like we did now. They supported the center. Look at the number of students we are having in the past within one year of my office now. We multiply the number all because we are able to get support from them. If you know the way the building used to be in those days, people run away from the center. They supported us with all we need. The Quara State Polytechnic has no doubt played its part with the proactive measure put in place at the center for continued education to ensure that not only the working class seeking admission are admitted but also the teaming youth who could not gain admission through jam are given the opportunity it has been abbas ibrahim Kora poly tv broadcast unit of the mass communication department